welcome to a session where we are going to discuss the changes in the CUVT entrance examination that has happened in the year 2024. The examination is only a couple of months away and it is extremely important that we understand the pattern of the paper, the institute of the paper, the difficulty expected for the CUVT paper. So let's talk about the CUVT PG 2024. The agenda for today's uh, session is to uh, give you an overview if, of the examination. Uh, the course that uh, we are going to talk about is MA in economics, like in uh, JNU. There are two MA in economics and uh, you need to apply for both of them. Uh, the universities uh, participating and the changes from the year uh, 2023 to the year uh, 2024, the change in the paper pattern, the change in the syllabus. Okay. And uh, last uh, but not the least, it's important that you get a practice of the new exam uh, pattern with the CUVET uh, mock test and the CUVET crash course at EduShore, which uh, will be uh, designed in a way in order to give you the best at CUVT, the best shot at the CUVT entrance examination. Okay. So just to give you an overview of the examination, CUVT is the common uh, university entrance test and it uh, was introduced in the year uh, 2018 and every year uh, there have been new and more uh, you know, universities actually getting into the mix. Like in the year uh, 2022, uh, JNU was added into the CUVT. Uh, 2023 DSC was added in the CUVT entrance and 2024 IJITR has been added and uh, CDS has also been added in the CUVT. Okay. So there are more new and new participating uh, universities or uh, colleges that have come into the mix. So the CUVT entrance application is on. The last date is the 24th of uh, January. Now, a few of you who have already filled up the form and IJITR has uh, recently joined into the mix. If you need to update uh, your application, the application uh, window for uh, the correction will be open between the 27th to the 29th of this month, that is uh, January. And uh, you shall be able to add the uh, colleges that have now been introduced and now it is a part of the CUVT entrance. All right, so you will be able to add. So don't worry, sir, I have already filled up kar diya. I have already filled up kar diya. Ab kya hoga? Kuch nahi hoga. 27th to the 29th of this month you will be getting an opportunity to uh, make a correction in the particulars part of the application form. So don't worry, that will happen. Uh, the examination date uh, will be anywhere between the 11th to the 28th of March. The date is not yet out. We just have to wait for the final date to come out. Uh, with regards to the PG courses at the CUVT, there are various examinations that uh, CUVT conducts. MA, MSc, MTech, LLM, MED, MCOM, MBA, MCA, MPhil and other integrated programs. We, for our own purposes, will only be concerned with MA in economics currently. Okay. CUVT is an examination that is uh, conducted by the NTA established by the central government. Now, in terms of the participating uh, universities, there are a few institutes that you are not to miss. Okay. Three of them cannot be missed at all. That is the Delhi School of Economics. JNU, IGIDR, these three cannot be mixed. Other important institutes are uh, University of Hyderabad, CDS, GIPE, BHU, DTU. These cannot be missed. Other uh, universities uh, that are available, but it will be ranked below these that will be Pondicherry and B.R. Ambedkar at Delhi. Okay, so this is the mix. The addition uh, that has happened this year is IGIDR. That's a major announcement. CDS, major announcement. Okay, these two have come into the mix. Some of you were asking me, sir, ISI bhi hai kya under CUVT? Currently, no. Theke? ISI alag hai, IIT alag hai. Okay, currently, no. Next year ke baare mein kuch bataya nahi ja sakta because the way CUVT is going, every year a major institute is now becoming, uh, becoming a part of the CUVT mix. So, uh, till now, these are the prominent uh, participating uh, universities at the CUVT. The paper pattern has undergone a change. So, now no longer you have the section A and section B segregation. So there used to be a section A, which would be a general test of 25 uh, questions, which would have English, grammar, it would have data interpretation, it would have logical inference, logical uh, reasoning questions, basic quant question like time speed and distance. Okay, GK questions. These were a part of section A, which would be a general test. This general test they have done away with. Now they have only the subject specific test that is for an entrance in economics. It will be economic based knowledge. No general test will be there like part A. 
So section B, which used to contain 75 questions. Now the entire paper will be these 75 questions only. These 25 will not feature in the examination. Okay, so 75 questions. Duration has been reduced for the COET from 120 minutes to 105 minutes. Okay, right. All the questions will be subject specific. I have already mentioned that each question will carry four marks. So the total marks for COET will now be 300. Okay, it's an expectation that if you score approximately 180 to 200, you should uh, stand a shot at the Delhi School of Economics. Okay, and if you score between 170 to 180, you should stand a chance at the Jawaharlal Nehru University. Okay. Now, for each incorrect response, one mark shall be deducted. Okay, so basically it's 25% negative. If you get plus four, you get only minus one. So if you're confused between two options, say you're confused between option B and D, take a calculated guess and mark your answer. If you're confused between two options, take a calculated guess because your expected uh, chance is 50%. So your expected score, if you pick any one out, out of the two, will be 50% multiplied by four, which is two, which is greater than the incorrect score. Okay, so the risk and reward basically tells you to take the risk. So this is what we have. No general test, only subject specific part will be there in the COET. Every question will get four marks correct. The total marks is 300 cutoff. I have explained this. These are expected cutoff. If the difficulty of the paper increases, it can go lower. If the difficulty of the paper goes down, this can go higher. If this year the participating uh, students are extremely brilliant, this cutoff may go higher. Okay. It basically depends on how many people are getting what score. So it's basically a percentile system. Okay, the higher the percentile, the better your chance of making it to the top institutes of the country from CUE. Right, so this is about the paper pattern. I have not come to the syllabus. I'll come to the syllabus. Now, major changes. Number one, the question has gone down from 100 to 75. So the level of concentration earlier that was actually required, you don't require that much. You have only 75 questions to deal with, but you have to be on the top of your game that the 105 minutes, the 1 hour 45 minutes that you have, you are 100% switched on. Not even a moment has to be there where you are uh, not 100%. Your mind has to operate at 100% for the entire duration of the examination. Okay. The old question paper, as I've already shared, had grammar, comprehension, LR, LI, GK and current affairs, which will now no longer be a part of the paper. Although there will be Indian economy and macroeconomic uh, trends in the economy of India. So current affairs and Indian economy GK questions can feature in section B. Okay. So some of you are asking, sir, GK kya ab nahi aega? GK a sakta hai with relation to Indian economy and current affairs and the current macroeconomic uh, trends in the economy of India. They can definitely come for the entrance of COVT. Right. In the new format, the question papers will exclusively contain subject specific uh, questions, 75 questions. The total marks is now reduced from 400 to 300. The new universities added are IJ Idea, CDS and GIP. Okay. The application fee has been revised by some amount that's also there. Now, in terms of the syllabus, in terms of the syllabus, you have microeconomics, macroeconomics. In terms of the micro paper, the areas that are important are consumer behavior, production cost, they feature exclusively for COET. They have a lot of weightage on these two topics. Apart from that, markets. Okay. When it comes to macroeconomics, it's quite evenly spread out. Um, SKM, ISLM theory is more the flavor of the COET examination and not uh, numerical problems. Okay. Statistical methods in economics, you will not be expected to know uh, high-end econometrics, that is the MLRM models, but basic central tendency, dispersion, uh, probability, uh, distribution, these aspects should be known in the statistics part. In the mathematics, especially calculus, uh, progressions, sequence and series, integration, differential equations, these are important for the COET entrance. Okay. Is it viable to skip Indian economy? Definitely no. Indian economy will form about 15 to 20% of the paper that itself is a lot about 14 to 15 questions will be expected out of the 75 from Indian economy of the past of the five-year plans of uh, the current uh, macroeconomic trends.
current affairs so they can all come in the indian economy part now how can edu sure help you with your cuet preparation my suggestion is that this year don't only focus on the cuet pass papers focus also on the jnu papers and given time please focus on the dsc papers at least for the last 5 years okay because it's our prediction that the difficulty level of the examination may increase okay if it increases please don't leave any stone unturned in your cuet preparation because it's an important examination there are so many institutes that have now come under cuet okay numerical problems will not be expected you will be expected to know uh, the theory behind it a few numericals will come but not a lot because it's again 75 uh, questions in 105 minutes so it's approximately only one and a half minutes for each question now one and a half minutes for each question is not a lot of time okay so at edu sure we have a dedicated the cuet crash course wherein we solve the uh, cuet questions and we solve it from a very uh, rudimentary level uh, we have a mock test a series which will uh, give you a real time actual examination uh, scenario of the cuet you will get the latest cuet pattern to practice in with the mock test that we have at edu sure and uh, definitely uh, you will be getting with the cuet crash course or the self paced course all the solutions of all the cuet and the jnu and the dsc uh, depending on the package that you pick out okay the inquiry team and the admissions team shall be able to guide you right thank you so much that ends the major developments of the cuet